Ultimately, elephants are only going to survive if communities are empowered with the tools to live successfully with them. And it's important for us as Save the Elephants to be that motivator, provider and supporter to help create coexistence between elephants and communities. Our Beehive Fence project started back in 2007, looking at this idea of how elephants have natural threats in the environment. And one of the only threats that we heard about was through local folklore that elephants were scared of bees. We turned this into a novel beehive fence deterrent that rural farmers can use to keep elephants outside of their small one acre or two acre farms. It's been incredibly successful. Around 80% of elephants are kept out from beehive fence protected farms. There are multiple advantages to it. They protect your farm from elephants because they scare elephants away. They provide pollination services for the farmer, pollinating his crops, and they produce honey and beeswax from the hives, which is an incredible extra income for the farmers. Realising the pros and the cons of using beehive fences helped us realise that you have to use a variety of mitigation tools. And rotating, alternating, and perhaps replacing tools every now and then helps keep elephants on their toes and out of your farm. So we came up with this idea of having a human-elephant coexistence toolbox, literally a book full of different ideas that you could pull out and use different methods throughout the year or for different farms, a variety of ways to keep elephants out of your farm. So some of the methods that we are using in Sagala are beehive fences, metal strip fences, chilies, smelly elephant repellent. Typically farmers put posts around their farm and they hang a string and then they hang different things, so either a chili rag or a bottle full of smelly elephant repellent. And this is incredibly easy for farmers to manage on their own and it's really, really working. The really exciting thing about this human elephant coexistence toolbox is it's not just Save the Elephants ideas and research outputs, it's actually an amalgamation of all of our partners across our elephant crisis network across the continent and in Kenya, all merging and putting our ideas together into one book. So we're helping each other, sharing ideas, sharing designs, making sure that if something's working in Zambia, we know about it in case it can work in Kenya, sharing ideas from savannah elephants to forest environments and vice versa, trying to make sure that we reach the most remote parts of the elephant range to help each other with these novel ideas and to make sure we're saving elephants across the continent. Our trainer of trainer workshops are really exciting. We're inviting partners from around Kenya particularly to come to Savo to spend three days with our team. They spend time in the classroom learning about the toolbox and the different theories and methods in the toolbox and then they head out into the community where there's over 15 different methods being demonstrated, being used by farmers in Savo to keep elephants out of their farms. And it's so exciting to see people come from different areas, coming down with their expectations, their ideas of what works well at home and then just having their eyes opened to the different methods and multiple methods being used by farmers on their land genuinely working to keep elephants out and improving coexistence. So every month we have a group of between 15 and 20 individuals coming down, being trained up, and when they go back to their communities, we hope that each individual will train at least 10 more members. And this idea is helping us spread the ideas in the toolbox to reach the most remote parts of Kenya that maybe our team couldn't reach on their own. We're so excited about this toolbox book. It's packed full of 80 different methods, helping communities to live successfully with elephants into the future and to ensure that elephants can thrive in their natural environments at the same time. It should be a win-win for everyone.